welcome to Recipe Tuesday. Today we're going to make a basic chicken pot pie. And of course there are so many variations that you can use. So as we go through I can say what you could alternate something for. Ah! So she's excited ah! for dinner. Thank you. Alright, what you're going to need is you're going to need a cup of milk. You're going to need one can of cream of chicken. You're going to need one package of frozen veggies. Ah! Ah! There you go. You're going to need some chicken. Ah! You can either boil your chicken ah! fresh or you can just use the canned chicken, you know, it really depends on the time frame you're in. And you're going to need a thing of crescent rolls. And I am using this for the top of the pie. The, another alternative is you can use the bisquick mix and use that. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and pour your veggies in the bowl, your cream of chicken soup in the bowl, your chicken in the bowl, and your milk in the bowl and just mix it all together. Okay, now to add a little bit more to my chicken pot pie, I have made, I have cut up some potatoes from scratch and boiled them. You want to go ahead and cook them before you throw them in, otherwise they're going to be really hard when you pull it out, even if it cooks for 40 minutes. Okay, so go ahead and boil those until they're soft, and you can throw those into the mix also. Alright, so let's mix that together. Southern Alabama with the guitars jamming, that's where we're hit. Straight up to Butte and Montana singing, Lord, I was born a rambling man. California. Go. Okay, once you have mixed everything in your bowl like that, yummy, yummy center, you can grab your crescent rolls and just put it on the top. Make sure your oven is preheated at 400 degrees, and then we're going to bake it for 30 minutes, okay? So just put the top on. Now, like I said, you can use Bisquick instead, or you can use the Crescent Grands, so you can just plop those on top. But this is what I had in the fridge, so this is what we're using. Even New York City got one or two hillbillies ready to hit the road. It's a brother and a sister. And after 30 minutes, it is ready. You see the outside, the crust looks really good. That's the biscuit. All right, uh, I'm gonna put on a plate to show it to you, but first I wanna go through all the things that you can change in this recipe. First of all, if you want a crust, like a pie crust, because I don't have any crust on the bottom, you can either use the pie crust that is in the frozen section at the grocery store or the refrigerated section, or you can actually use an actual pie crust. You can get one of those and just put all the fillings in it and then do a top on, on the top. Or, let's say you want to break it down and make it into lunch size meals. Okay, you can buy those <laughs> mini pie crust and just put little scoops oh into each of those and you can freeze them. <laughs> Come here, son. Okay, so the pie crust is one thing you can change. The next thing you can change is the chicken. You don't have to use canned chicken, you can use fresh chicken, just cook it and then throw it in, chop it up. All right, the next thing are the veggies. You don't have to use frozen veggies. Um, you can use fresh, fresh veggies. You can just cut those up and use those fresh. Um, the next thing that you can change, try and think here. Oh. Is the topping. You can use the Bisquick um, topping instead of actual Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. So go make your own. Let's pull this out and see how it looks. Oh, and also, instead of using fresh potatoes like I did, you can actually use Orida frozen yeah. potatoes. You would just need to let those thaw out a little bit. So you see that nice. Great center, see all that? Looks great. All right, go make your own. 